Hi boys and girls, this is Miss White. Today I will be reading a book to go along with your iReady reading lesson. Um, this week in iReady, uh, one of your read alouds is about famous women. And so I have chosen to share with you today um, this book about famous American women. The title is She Persisted, 13 American Women Who Changed the World, written by Chelsea Clinton, illustrated by Alexandra Boyer. Now, before we get started, let's talk about this word persisted. What does persisted mean? It means if you persist to do something, what does that mean? Yeah, it means that you never give up. You keep trying no matter what. And so this book is about 13 American women who persisted and changed the world. And there's my title page. She persisted, 13 American women who changed the world. Sometimes being a girl isn't easy. At some point, someone probably will tell you no, will tell you to be quiet, and may even tell you your dreams are impossible. Don't listen to them. These 13 American women certainly did not take no for an answer. They persisted. Harriet Tubman was born a slave, and her story could have ended there. Instead, she persisted, escaping from slavery and becoming the most famous conductor of the Underground Railroad. She risked her life many times to lead countless slaves to freedom, including her family, friends, and strangers. Every person she led to freedom arrived safely. Now, this is a nonfiction book, so although I do have illustrations and not photographs, I also have to go along with these true-to-life photographs. This is what they would have probably really looked like each page. I also have quotes along each illustration of what the famous women actually said, something that they really said. And Harriet Tubman's famous quote says, I should fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasted. And it's in quotation marks, so I know that that's something that someone said. And in this case, it's a quote by Harriet Tubman. So you'll see that with each famous woman. Once Helen Keller became blind and deaf as a toddler, people thought, few people thought she'd be able to learn to read, write, or speak, but she persisted. Helen learned how to do all three and not only became the first person with deaf blindness to graduate from college, but she used her story to help fight for more opportunities for people with disabilities in the United States and around the world. And Helen Keller's quote, says, one can never consent to creep when one feels an impulse to soar. After her family fled poverty and the threat of violence in Ukraine for a new home in New York City, Clara Limlich got a job working at a garment factory. She wrote that the factory's conditions made women into machines, and so she persisted, organizing picket lines and strikes that ultimately helped win better pay, shorter hours, and safer working conditions for thousands of workers, both women and men. And Clara Limlich's quote, quote says, I am one of those who suffers from the abuses described here, and I move that we go on a general strike. So all that means is that she was leading people um, to go on strike or to stop working until the people in charge listened and made changes to make the working conditions better. Nellie Bly became a reporter in part because a male writer had said that working women were a monstrosity and that she wanted to prove that women could do anything. At times, putting her safety at risk, she persisted throughout her career in exposing real monstrosities, pretending to be a sweatshop worker and a patient in a mental hospital to show how badly people were being treated. And Nellie Bly's quote 
with her illustration says, I have never written a word that did not come from my heart. I never shall. Inspired from an early age by her brother's childhood illnesses, Virginia Atgar was determined to be a doctor long before many girls had such dreams. Even though she qualified to be a surgeon, the male head surgeon at her hospital discouraged her because she was a woman. Nevertheless, she persisted, becoming an anesthesiologist and creating the APGAR score to test a newborn baby's health, which hospitals all over the world still use today. And Virginia Apgar's quote says, Nobody, but nobody is going to stop breathing on me. After Maria Talshief's family moved to California, partly to support Maria's dreams of becoming a dancer, she was teased by students in school for her Native American heritage and later was encouraged to change her name to something that sounded Russian, since many professional dancers at the time were from Russia. She persisted, ignoring all the taunting and poor advice to become the first great American prima ballerina. And Maria's quote says, It never occurred to me to say it hurts to do that. As a 15-year-old riding a bus home from school in Montgomery, Alabama, Claudette Colvin was expected to give up her seat to a white woman just because she was African-American. In her refusal to get up, she persisted in taking a stand for what's right, helping to inspire Rosa Parks to make the same choice nine months later, and act many point to as starting the modern civil rights movement. And Claudette Colvin's quote says, I knew then and I know now that when it comes to justice, there is no easy way to get it. You can't sugarcoat it. You have to take a stand and say, this is not right. When Ruby Bridges was in kindergarten, many schools across America, particularly in the South, still refused African-American students their equal right to an education. Ruby wouldn't be treated like a second-class student, and she persisted, walking for weeks past angry, hateful protesters to integrate an all-white elementary school in New Orleans. And so our quote from Ruby Bridges says, That fateful walk to school began a journey, and we all must work together to continue moving forward. As the first woman to serve as both a United States Representative and a United States Senator, Margaret Chase Smith could have let that fact alone be her legacy. Instead, she persisted, championing women's rights and more opportunities for women in the military, standing up for free speech and supporting space exploration. The head of NASA once noted that we wouldn't have put a man on the moon without Margaret. And so my quote from Margaret Chase Smith says, The right way is not always the popular and easy way. Standing for right when it is unpopular is a true test of moral character. Sally Ride always believed women could succeed in any math or science career. Although not everyone agreed, she persisted, and she became the first American woman in space. But that wasn't enough for Sally. She traveled into space once more and then created science and engineering programs specifically for girls so she could help generations of young women achieve their dreams too, both on Earth and in outer space. And our quote from Sally Rod says, Young girls need to see role models in whatever careers they may choose. 
just so they can picture themselves doing those jobs someday. You can't be what you can't see. When, as a kid, Florence Griffith Joyner visited her father in the Mojave Desert, he would urge her to run faster and faster, to run as fast as a jackrabbit. Even when she had to leave college to help support her family, she persisted in her training on the track, then went back to school and got faster and faster. Her unbroken world records in the 100-meter and 200-meter sprints set at the 1988 Summer Olympics mean she is still the fastest woman ever. And our quote from Florence Griffith Joyner says, When anyone tells me I can't do anything, I'm just not listening anymore. I think that's a great quote. If someone tells you you can't do something, you just stop listening because you can Oprah Winfrey's grandmother expected Oprah to follow in her footsteps and become a maid. Oprah knew, even as a little girl, that her dreams would take her somewhere else. She persisted in turning those dreams into her reality and became a media superstar. Working in movies, books, magazines, theater, and most of all, television, where the Oprah Winfrey show remains the highest rated talk show of all time. And our quote from Oprah Winfrey says, The biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. Watching fictional judges on television inspired Sonia Sotomayor to want to be a real-life judge when she grew up. She knew she'd have to speak English as well as she spoke Spanish, study hard in school, and manage her diabetes before she could one day wear a judge's robe with a gavel in hand. She persisted, eventually becoming a Supreme Court Justice and the first ever Latina to sit on America's highest court. And so our quote from Sonia Sotomayor says, I have never had to face anything that could overwhelm the native optimism and stubborn perseverance I was blessed with. So, if anyone ever tells you no, if anyone ever tells you your voice isn't important or your dreams are too big, remember these women. They persisted, and so should you. Have a great week, boys and girls.